What would happen to the human body if you did a cold plunge and tested it through a series of different tests, checking to see what really happens to you? Well, today you and I are going to find out. Okay, so it's November 5th, and I'm always on YouTube seeing these cold plunges, and people are talking about if they're good for you or not, but I would never see people ever testing these, so I'm going to test them. I'm going to test the cold plunges in three different ways. Okay, so the first way I'm going to test this is from the scale and body fat percentager, and, you know, I don't know how much body fat percentage I have, and I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to test my blood pressure with this, and I'm going to see the results before and after. Final way I'm going to test this is with a stick skin temperature gauge, and I'm going to see how it affects my skin. All right, let's get our baseline readings. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's weigh myself, and I'm going to check my body fat percentage. That's not right. That's not right. I'm not 100% sure if that scale's right on my body fat percentage, but we're still going to use the same scale every single time and see how it affects it. Okay, so let's test my blood pressure. So here's my blood pressure readings. Yeah. Now it's time to check my skin temperature readings. We're going to stay in the water two minutes. We're going to do our second test 15 minutes after I get out of the water. Okay, so I'm going to measure the temperature of the water in case, in case you think I'm joking. Okay, so I'm kind of scared. I feel a little bit... Well, I do feel scared because it's cold. And I feel cold right now, so I don't really want to do this. But I want to see... How it, uh, how it affects my health. So let's do it. Oh, sh I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go down this ladder instead of going straight in because that was really cold. Okay, ready? Let's do this. Okay, that was the coldest water I've ever been in. Uh, did I tell you it was November 1st? And that water is super cold. Fifth. I said fifth. Okay, but anyways, I asked, man, I felt tingling in that water. That was so cold. <sighs> man, I don't know how you guys do it. <sighs> Ooh, it's cold. Okay, so I just got done doing the cold plunge, and now I'm going to redo all the tests. Okay, so my body fat percentage went up, and I guess I'm fat, okay? okay we're going to check my blood pressure now, and we're going to see how this turns out.
Okay, I guess we're going to have to try it again because I don't know what the results were. What did it do? Shut up. Okay, so I've tried this blood pressure cuff like four times and it still hasn't given me any readings. Okay, so I just switched arms because I couldn't get a blood pressure reading on my other arm. Okay, so it didn't shut off that time finally. Okay, so as you can see my blood pressure reading. Do that skin temperature test so I can go inside and warm up. Okay, so I couldn't get any readings on my legs. So what do we learn from my cold plunge experience? My body fat percentage went up and my blood pressure percentage went up and down. So my pulse rate dropped, my skin temperature dropped too. So what does that mean? Will I do this again? Yeah, probably. I'll probably do this most of my life because it's fun. Okay. So when I got out of the water, the first couple seconds were kind of miserable, but after like five seconds, I felt energized, pumped up, and I felt really excited, and I felt like I was going to win something. My elbow also felt like it had a tremendous difference as soon as I came out of there. It felt like it was almost at 100%, but now it feels the same. Love you guys, and thanks for watching my videos. Make sure to subscribe. And remember, I'm the king of ads.